Tis the season to gather and celebrate with family and friends. And joining us is Theo Rutherford. Yes, a world-renowned sommelier and brand educator for the Deutsch family Wine and Spirits. He is here to share some of his favorite holiday pairings. Welcome, Theo. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. All right, Theo, here's a question. Where do we start <laughs> for someone like me to ensure some successful holiday <laughs> gatherings? Honestly, there's already enough stress this season, right? There's stress with getting the last minute gifts, making sure everybody's coming to the table, whatever it is. So the place to start is just to relax. Just think about what you like to eat, what you like to drink, and honestly, nine times out of 10, it's gonna serve you well. So just take a breath, don't stress too much. Remember that it's about spending time with friends and family and get the things that you like. Oh, oh that's, yeah, that's, that's good. That's an interesting perspective because we are really focused on what other people want. Yeah. And there's just so many people that you invite yeah. and you have you, many, many family members. Yeah. I love that, Theo. Now, we love a good charcuterie board here. On yes, we do. What do you recommend <laughs> pairing with a charcuterie board? Help us out. So charcuterie boards are great, obviously, for you know just having out so that people can notch, but they're hard, right? They're hard to pair because of all the different flavors on it. So the easiest way to do it is a little bit of champagne. And also, nothing says celebrating the holidays like champagne, and that you pop that cork, everybody gets happy. So a little <laughs> bit of champagne for that. For this, it's bourgeois champagne. Uh, so bourgeois means beautiful joy in French, so bringing joy to the season for you. Uh, but the bright acidity of that wine is actually going to pair beautifully with the cheeses. It's going to cut a little bit of that, of that fat and let you taste the cheeses a little bit more. It's also going to cut the saltiness of those uh, cured meats. So it's a really easy way to do it. And like I said, everybody gets happy when that, when that cork pops. Okay, and so if you're pairing with not the charcuterie board, but with your main yeah. course, is there a difference? There, you can certainly use the champagne for that, but my sort of secret weapon where main courses are concerned, because you never know what's gonna be on each person's plate, is always have a red and a white on the table. Mm. That way you're kind of pleasing everybody. So for those people that, you, and we all know them, that go to that table and they pile their plate with sides, they don't even know what protein's on the table, <laughs> uh, I usually go with a little bit of Chardonnay. Uh, so in this case, it's the Colleen uh, Sonoma Coast Chardonnay. So Sonoma Coast is a little bit colder than other places in California. And so it brings in a little bit of acidity. It has a really nice fruit backbone to it. And just that kiss of oak that those Chardonnay drinkers will love, but not too much that others that don't like Chardonnay won't. So it's one that pleases pretty much everybody. And it goes well with things like mashed potatoes, latkes, salads, anything that you kind of have sidewise for those side dish eaters. Uh, and for those that love the main course where the protein is concerned, we need something a little bit bigger and bolder. So in this case, I go with Josh Sellers Reserve. For this one, it's the North Coast Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, Josh Sellers Reserve tries to really pick from different regions throughout California and highlight some of the best ones. So in this case, it's North Coast, which is Northern California and gives really lovely round fruits, little darker sort of blackberry things going on, a little bit of hazelnut, but the mm. tannin structure in it is nice and velvety, so it goes perfectly with something like a brisket. Uh, now, for the folks that like to hover, over desserts. <laughs> <laughs> what do you suggest for pairing? <laughs> the folks that just sort of skip everything else and go straight for that. Yep. I don't judge. Um, can't forget it, right? So nothing says holidays like an apple pie. And for me, I subscribe to the Julia Child's way of cooking. I cook with bourbon and sometimes some of it finds its way into the food. Um, <laughs> and an apple pie with a little bit of bourbon goes perfectly. Uh, so with this, it's the Bibb and Tucker six year small batch bourbon. The reason I love this one is there's a little bit of vanilla, there's a touch of honey, there's a little bit of hazelnut. There's great balance to it. So it works great neat. It works lovely in a cocktail. It's just one of those that is a great way to end your night or keep it going a little bit longer. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. And you gotta love that craft ice, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the artisan mm -hmm. ice, I love it. We try. All right, what should we <laughs> consider when choosing proper pairings? I know, I just have so many questions. Is there a website where we should go? So deutschfamily.com is a place that you can find more information about these and other brands. If you wanna give gifts for the holidays, great place to go for that. But just remember to keep it simple. You're not trying to earn a Michelin star over the holidays. <laughs> You're just trying to spend time with good people and have good food and good wine. So whatever you like drinking, just remember that That's and great. just remember it, what this is all about. It's about those friends and family and you know, give a, a couple gifts if you need to. All Thank right. you, Theo. That's great. Thank I you mean, so much. I know I'm trying to earn a Michigan Michelin star, but, you know, for the rest of us, <laughs> for the rest of you. <laughs>
<laughs> Theo, thanks again. That was amazing.